Oh, I'm out of breath. And this is the tank. So sexy. Obviously, I don't weigh as much as an aquarium. I think that looks great. You know, when you're in the second floor with a load of fish tanks, probably isn't good enough. Welcome back to the vlog guys. Now today is exciting because we are starting the Amazon themed tank. Now currently behind where the camera is, I'll, I'll show some B-roll, is a big space of where I want to be building the brand new Amazon style themed fish tank. What? It's going to be a four foot aquarium. I've been collecting materials, plants, trees, <laughs> logs, <laughs> everything for a long time now. I cannot wait to get started. So let's go. And this is the tank. Voila. Oh, so sexy. Nothing better than seeing like thick opti white glass like that oh but let's get started on that stand <sighs> oh i'm out of breath right so there it is okay so what you saw when we making was basically we've got three frames that are like that yeah it's really simple, just a straight piece on the top and bottom and then two joining it. And then like just one piece of wood there as like a brace for it all, stops it going that way and that way. And then a load of thick sort of struts or planks that go all the way across the top, cover the whole area. So we've got one, two, three, same on each end, no one in the middle, it doesn't matter, it's just there to stop it sort of bowing. A couple for pinning the bottom, a flat one for the bottom and a flat one for the back job done on top of it will go this which is like just some sort of foamy underlay for i i guess it's like wooden flooring or something but it works really really well um i've actually done this before actually not not even as well as this on one of my other tanks follow me so for those of you who don't know this is my asian fish aquarium so you can see look one <laughs> two three and then just on the top of that, all painted black, is a load of boards that just went that way, or planks that went that way. Works a treat and uh, doesn't go anywhere, completely solid. All right, it's not the greatest of craftsmanship, but I don't claim to be an expert carpenter. But it does the job really well, and that's what I'm all about, getting the job done and, uh, and cracking on with what you want to do. No idea what that meant. Okay, there we have it, one stand, and that is pretty sturdy. Obviously, I don't weigh as much as an aquarium. So I'm gonna do a quick test run with this stuff. Um, it's like varnish. We've gone for the medium oak matte finish. I'm gonna do it on the top and see what it looks like. If I like it, I'll do the whole lot. If not, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be covered anyway, and I can just black out the rest. Like, subscribe. Right guys, so it's now actually the next day. So you can see here, look, that is one coat, that is two coats, three coats, four coats of the uh, the varnish or the whatever it's called, who cares? But I don't like it, I don't like that color at all. It looks more sort of a, a yellowy, greeny color. I'm gonna go from a much more darker look. So something more like the trim of that, but probably darker still, more brown, you know, like a real earthy brown. That's what I wanna get. So I'm gonna go to the shop and get it but it's currently 5 a.m and <laughs> no shops are open so i'm gonna have to do so maybe i'll edit this video yeah i'll do that okay so this is the one i got last time so it's medium and then there's a dark dark one there i won't i won't waste that one i'll make sure i use it for another project or something but is even the dark dark enough Hmm, ha, this one it says on softwood. It is softwood, so that's the one we want. Oh, 
Oh yes, instantly look, that's so much darker. That's gonna look awesome. That's what I was going for. I don't know why I picked this color, but that's gonna be perfect. Let's just slap it on. Oh yes, 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 definitely the right decision. I think that looks great, didn't it? Look at the top green in comparison but the next job we need to do now is take the flooring underlay and just size it up on top maybe stick it down with a little bit of silicon and paint it black before we do that well the edge is black we don't have to paint the whole lot because the tank will be on top of it but you will just see the front lip of it so just overhang it slightly paint it black and then i can set it in place ready to put the tank on top So that is the edges painted. Now I could have just bought some black foam, uh, but they didn't have it in the shop and I'm not waiting. So I just had some black paint and it just done a good job. Anyway, we need to silicone it down before we put the tank on top. Like a glove. Right, there we go, looking good. So a couple of extra things I've done for safety reasons. I mean, it was probably all right, but you know, when you're on the second floor with a load of fish tanks, probably isn't good enough. I've added this white foam, you can see, it's like an extra thick layer on top of the one I already had. Now, the reason for that is this is cheap wood and it isn't actually perfectly plain. So I was finding that a couple of the bits at the at sides there and there were, were just slightly twisted, you know, on their cuts. So this amount of foam will just completely take that out and it won't even matter. And then also in the middle section, you can see there, I added another cross brace just to stiffen it up even more. Again, both of these things probably weren't needed, but I just wanted to make sure before going any further because you know, it'll always be playing on my mind otherwise. And now it's time for the black background. Loads of you have obviously seen me do this before, but there'll be lots of you watching this that haven't. So this is how you do it. So next we want to spray the whole back down with soapy water and look at this absolutely exquisite use of paper towel. <laughs> Gotta to protect the areas, it will try and drip down because obviously I'm upright. The best way to do this is actually tilt on its side but I haven't got anyone to help me so you can do it upright, it's not an issue, it's just a little bit more fiddly but we should be okay. And then we want to place our film up against it, but with the peelable off side facing you. I'll show you what I mean. So that is the background on. Now you can see all those bubbles and everything. That's why we need this squeegee, which actually just, so you can just go from the center outwards and then you don't create any creases look and it just works it all on and it just sticks after that. So yeah, you can see that center spot there where it's smooth and push all the air out, down, left, right, up, down, all from the center. And you'll find that on the front look, you can, well, the reflections are pretty bad, but there you go, there's that middle section I'm just done. It goes perfectly black. And then if there's any excess that's hanging over, you can trim it off. But like I did in this video, I have before just trimmed it all off around the edge. I find it way easier now just to measure out the backing and, and cut it to size and it just fits on neatly. There's no mess then and it's just straight on. Right, that is looking super tidy. Now, what about lighting? Well, if you guys remember, I used to have the Angel Fish Aquarium back in my old studio, and I had some custom built, well, I built them, so they are custom lights. They're LED floodlights that come off like a sort of right angle overhang. So you can see here, I'm measuring out two pieces of wood, one of 70 centimeters length and one of 30 centimeters. These will act as the main frame for our lighting bracket.
Make sure you cut all your wood nice and square and sand off all the edges to get a real neat finish. We can then use the right angle triangle piece of wood we've cut off to lock the two pieces of wood into the correct position. Then all we need to do is slap some black paint on it and we're pretty much good to go. So as mentioned, I'm gonna reuse these floodlights that I've used before. They're 20 watt, 6,500 Kelvin color temperature. When I originally wired them, I just used some spare stuff that I had. It was gray wires. It just doesn't look good, does it? So now I'm gonna attach this black wires to it. I can then attach them to the frames we've created and pin back the wire so it runs all neatly alongside it. This should give us a really neat finish. And to be honest, it's so black, all of this, that it's just gonna blend into the background anyway. And hopefully you won't even notice them. I then bent the frames of the floodlights. This means that they'll sit square on the custom brackets that we made. I'm saying custom because it sounds a lot better than bits of wood. I then attached the lights to the custom brackets and then proceeded to tape the wires to the frames. I was gonna use wire tacks, but you know, the ones I've got are too small and I can't go out and get any more. So as I always say, make do with the stuff you've got and get on with the job. Well, here they are. So they are a little bit too short though because I did have them pinned back against the wall, but I don't wanna do that in here because what I can do come around the back is pin them to this area but currently they actually stop right there you know where the uh, the end of the tank bit is so i need to to extend them a little bit and to do that i just got a couple of planks there uh, bits of two by four i can just attach them to the side bits to there which will give me the extra length and then they'll come up to about 30 centimeters above the tank i've often found that lighting at about 30 centimeters like you can see this one here works really well and it seems to be the, the right level um, obviously that depends on the, the strength of your light for instance that one there above the better sorority that's about 50 centimeters above it just depends on the light and you kind of learn from experience there what is going to be the right height or what the right intensity is if you can dim lights ideal you can put it to whatever height you like but I mean these are just LED floodlights you'd put in your sort of garage or maybe on the driveway so the colors really good though and uh, the so is the strength so they're going to be really good i mean you've seen how well the plants grow before in the angelfish aquarium i'll leave a link to that uh, they do the job amazing for growing plants Oh yes, look at that. I'm really, really pleased with how that's turned out. A lot more professional than I've done before. It's probably the best tank I've ever made. Best setup, I think. Okay, the lights can look a little bit sort of, you know, uh, well, I don't even know the word, but they, were good. they will do a really, really good job. And they don't look too bad. You know, if I was to do them again, I probably would redo this section. Oh, sorry do that section because I crushed it like that to make a flat point so that they didn't hang down lower back in my old studio that was how I just had to do it like that at the time I could redo it all again and buy new lights but they're going to work well and most of the time look we're going to be looking here we're not going to be looking up there are we so let's not worry too much about that well oh yeah beautiful right I've got a cool little sort of faux wood uh, like to go on the background I think that's that'll look really good as well it's like stick on and uh, let me just put it up we'll see how it looks I, I might not do it I might do just have a look You've got to try things, haven't you, to see, see if you like them or not. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> oh yes, I really like that. I mean, it's not gonna be to everyone's taste, is it? But whatever is. Um, like before when I did my rock work in the other room. Hang on. Yeah, all the lights are off because it's early, but I remember when I did this, some people were like, that's horrible. <laughs> other people really liked it. I'll leave a link to both of these transfer things. They're both just sticky thingies that go on the wall. But this one's cool, actually. It's got really good 3D effect when you get up close. Um, and it is 3D because it's like grooves in it. Anyway, it's not about that. 
Yeah, so I think we've got just basically a really good slate now for starting. I just think the whole thing ties in nicely. The wood on the top with the wood on the bottom. Different colours, but I quite like that. You know, it, it sort of separates it into visual treats. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I tell you what though, that white polystyrene is not doing it any justice. Let me just get a little dusting of sand down there. The colour I'm going to be used, it won't hurt. I can go on top of it later, but it'll look so much better for now and the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. I think that looks really good. The colours, they all tie in. It's matching. Oh, how nice. Um, this is just ordinary pool filter sand. I'll leave a link for it. And you're probably wondering, you just got a ton of stuff from Aquarium Gardens down here. Why aren't you using that? Well, a lot of this stuff is just um, smaller bags and they'll be perfect for things like 60, 60 centimetres or two foot tanks and all the nano tanks. So I'm going to be using those for that. But for obviously a big tank like this, I'm going to need quite a lot of sand. So I've got 25 kilograms of pool filter sand. So that's all that's all ready to go. But obviously it's just a fine dusting there. But it'll be way more than that because there's going to be some big, big plants in here. You know, they're going to have big roots. They're going to need to feed a lot. So they're going to need some good depth. Plus, to be honest, I really like the colour and it does suit what I've seen of the Amazon when I've been doing my research. Some of the river basins there have got this very sort of white but yellow, you know? It's not quite white, it's not quite yellow, it's somewhere in between. And I think this stuff matches it really well and the grain sizes and then the little flecks of different um, other colours in there as well. I don't know, just really natural looking. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. In the next video, we're going to be scaping the Amazon Aquarium. So make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.